need that fight. Ah, oh, shit, sorry.
Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. How you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So. I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. We doing this? Yeah, real soon, Frank. Pick up the fire truck and RV with Gus Moda and Daryl Johns. I'll give you word when I'm out of the bureau. I got it, dog. At least we can count on these guys in a pinch. If you're new, just clear your pass with security, and you can go up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Thirty.
There you go. For all the money spent on domestic intelligence, we haven't even developed usable indexing software. Crap. The battery's in the right class forever. 